This right here is a liquor store now. It's called the Liquor Locker. See, it says Liquor Locker Tavern Wine and Spirits, established 1685. This is the oldest liquor store in America. This is the original. Look at that. This is East Bay South and Exchange. And it is a real, live, working liquor store, even today. There you go. That is it. Sixteen eighty-six, actually. This is as old as Charleston. This tab tavern has been a spirited part of Charleston's history since the late 17th century. From the early seaport days through prior to tax, the revolution, the Civil War, earthquakes, hurricanes, prohibition, the Great Depression, the tavern and Charleston have not only survived these historical events, they stand as a living example of the spirit of reliance and the resilience that is the United States of America. All our visitors bring happiness. Some come by, others by going. Some by coming, others by going. Interesting. This tavern has been a spirited part of Charleston's history since the late 17th century. Yeah, but they don't have a restroom. So the lady that's related to this right here is going to take me inside. Stay tuned. She's just restored some of this and these floors. She said a lot of these floors are, you're saying these floors are original to 1686. Unbelievable. So how did y'all get this? I mean, it's just continually been open. He's the owner, yeah, so he can tell you a lot more than I can tell you. Do you mind telling me? <laughs> What's that? You own this, how long? I mean, it's been open since 1686. How do you how do you end up with something that's been open for so long? It's crazy. I bought it from a client I had. Really? So, amazing. Yeah. So you're in the liquor business? Uh, we own the liquor store next door as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Which is the oldest liquor store in America. Yeah, sure. Amazing. Yeah. This is a really cool looking building. This is the oldest commercial building in Charleston. In really? The in the whole state? Mm -hmm. This building? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. So I'm going to look around. Thank you so much. Thank sure. you, sir. It is crazy. How are y'all? Really, really cool stuff, guys. Thank y'all so much. And we invite y'all to come to Charleston and come see, right? Yeah, absolutely. And come That's by. Tavern at Rainbow <laughs> Row. Tavern at Rainbow Row. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all so much. So Rainbow Row is across the street down, right? right. Thank y'all so much. Appreciate you. So friends, after talking with the owner, we found out that this is the oldest commercial building in the state of South Carolina. This building is from that era, 1686, and it is across the street from what is known as Rainbow Road, which was a line of houses that originally <laughs> Thank you. Was it was a great question. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. It was it really gray was. in color, and people started painting them different uh -huh. colors. Now, what's interesting is this is very close to the waterfront, which you can yeah. see is right there. These were actually brothels, yeah. is what they are. But you'll see people come down here, bridal pictures, and all these photographs in front of these homes that were originally brothels back in the pirate days especially so this is when you look at life magazine they named this rainbow row and what's interesting it was a black and white photograph but that's how it's got its name they did a story on it and this is east bay street or i call it ebay street so I'm going to walk around back and look as well. And now I've seen buildings older than this. If you go to my video that I did when I was in 
Denmark, that building, one of them was 1300s. But look at that. Now back then, I imagine you could go up in there and see the waterfront, which is right down there. But now they built all these buildings in. But look at those things. Isn't that cool? here in Charleston a long, long time. Man, what is this thing over here? This is the facade of a building. <laughs> I know it's facade, but it's funnier to say facade. But whatever it was is no longer. It looks like it was a garage going this way, but it had a little situation. And I'm going to scoop through here and see Lolly. This is the other side of the back of the liquor store. Yep. Really cool old history. I wonder if Blackbeard ever came here. So, Lori, yes, you just told me that they have what kind of salad at this place? Strawberry arugula salad. So it has arugula in it? Now, what's that made out of? Is it made out of those horns on those old cars? No. Nope. Where it goes, arugula, arugula. Nope. nope. How do you know? I know. Huh. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe. You give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. And watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.